Today we will take a look at Quinn Control Net. I delete the default model loader and load the GGUF loader instead. Let's connect the model node. I will load an image with a girl standing pose. Let's enter the prompt as woman in leather jacket and red skirt. After we queue, we get a canny image as the control net result. The image is a woman in a black leather jacket and a red skirt, but the image is not clean. Let's use the four steps LoRa for faster generation. Go to the sampler node and set the steps to four. Turn down the CFG to one. Leave the rest as default. For the control net, I like to use the open pose. I will replace the canny node with the open pose node. And after IQ, we can see the pose is ready. Let's generate the image. Using the open pose, I even get a cleaner image as we can see from the result. I don't think you need the workflow download. You can modify the default template workflow using the instructions I just showed you. More about the control net. If you want to strictly control the image to match more of the source, use Canny. Otherwise, for just an estimate of the pose, use Open Pose. When you use Canny, it will strictly follow the edge guide. See the skirt edge. It follows the source image edge flow when you use the Canny Control Net image. But since I use Control Net mostly as a guide for the pose, I usually go for Open Pose. 